Hey everybody, it's Asic Eric and Pops. How y'all doing today? Back to the hood, underside of the hood today, bless you. Um, this, as you can see, doesn't have a whole lot of paint on it, so this is more of a rust operation. Or sorry, let me just say that again. Rust operation. Um, so, we're going to get tearing into that. Uh, see how far we get to today. Uh, some of these areas, like along these edges in here, we can use the sandblaster pretty safely. Uh, I am going to stay away from these areas because that's that's the uh, outside of the hood there. I don't want to hit that. Um, but uh, I'll tell you my plan of attack here, and then uh, you can tell me what you think. So uh, anything we can get to mechanically, obviously we'll do that. So wire wheels, DAs, whatever um, on this stuff. Uh, when we get down to these areas here, obviously this is tough, so it looks like this hood was probably sitting vertically outside. I'm going to see all the rust is kind of down in these areas here, so this stuff on inside here is probably pretty trashed. Um, doesn't feel too bad, but... Uh, so, anyway, well, we can get to mechanically, we'll get to mechanically, and then inside here, we're not going to be able to get in there, so what I'm going to do is take the uh, Eastwood Rust Encapsulator internal frame coating slash whatever, uh, inject it through these holes here, and just really douse all of that in there really well, and hope that's good enough. Um, there's not really much else I can do, I don't think so. And then we'll shoot some of the Rust Encapsulator up in these edges here, just, you know, anywhere that we can, right? Just try and make sure it's all covered as best as possible. So that's the plan. Um, we'll tear into it and uh, see how it goes. That's going to do it for today. It's going to be fun trying to blow all of this crap out of there. I've been running the air hose through here and it's just more and more stuff coming out. See if I'll ever be able to get it all out. When it comes time to paint it, just be junk flying out everywhere. I hope not. Oh, here you are. All that crap there. That'll be fun. Uh, since this thing's all enclosed, I'm not sure there's any good way to do it. You could tip, tip it up on one side or the other, and then everything just kind of falls down in here, but it's all sealed, so... I don't know. Run the uh, shop back in the corners and keep blowing. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, anyway, as you can see, it came mostly okay. Some spots are better than others. You know, these are the really rusty areas here, and there's still a little bit more work to do there. Um, I'm a little nervous about putting phosphoric acid on this because, again, like the uh, chemical stripper, I don't want it running off into little corners and things everywhere that I can't get out. But I think I have to here. There's enough rust on here that I don't really have a choice. Uh, so I'll just try and keep it light and keep it in without moving around all over the place, but we'll see. So, anybody have any ideas or thoughts on uh, stuff we can do here? Hopefully this will be wrapped up next weekend and we can get this painted. Uh, or epoxy, rather. Uh, flip it over and get back to work on the other side. But anyway, that's going to do it. Hope everybody's having a good one. We'll talk to you later.